All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect. Excuse me, within the nation of Israel, and Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch on Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Howard Kakurash. Now, uh, the Spirit just had me do a lesson entitled, uh, They Refused the Way. And, um, you know, the Spirit kind of stirred me up, you know, uh, in that lesson. Um, but the basis of it, I don't even want to say if it was the basis of it, but it was just kind of something that added to, you know, uh, that lesson, something that I was thinking about was a dream that somebody had told me about. Without further ado, uh, I was going to mention it in the previous lesson, but by the time I, you know, got to that point where I was going to explain the dream through the spirit, you know, I was like, damn, it's like 50 minutes. So I just ended it. But, you know, so maybe this would just be a little extra to it. But anyways, um, I'll read it. So it um, it says... It says, uh, another similar dream like this, I was traveling, trying to get away, but everywhere I'd end up, either there were guards telling me I couldn't go on the same road, so I'd have to turn around, or the road would just end like there'd be a cliff or something. I think I vividly remember those two dreams because I was in harm's way, trying to escape by myself, and I'm pretty sure both dreams were bad in the sense of like the env environment wasn't good. It was like war scenes, right? So, and it was uh, spiritual because in particular, <laughs> um, in particular, you know, with the individual that, that sent me the dream, I had already warned them about certain things. And I, and I gave a clear warning. I was like, look, one or two things is going to happen. Either you're going to repent, you know, you turn from certain things, whatever the case it may be. And you could be delivered or if not, you're going to literally, and I remember saying this specifically, I was like, or you're going to be left here out on your own to suffer all this shit by yourself straight up, you know, and it was a woman, of course. <laughs> right. But nevertheless, as a matter of fact, just on that point, you know, um, and that's kind of what tied into the previous lesson, because I was thinking I was like, should you you were told the way and you choosing your own way. All right. And your own way is only going to lead to what? destruction man and then when you in, in these times to come like look unless unless the, the scriptures is very plain man all right unless you repent you shall all likewise perish all right and women ain't exempt from the judgment right let me grab this in the book of ezekiel the ninth chapter like motherfuckers is, think this is a game and playing around and x y and z like when the lord really starts pouring out his wrath that's all I'm going to say. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sighed and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that mark is an exemption from judgment. So the Lord has particular men that are going to be exempt from the judgment to come. All right? Who he's going to forgive their iniquities and their sins, all right? And deliver them from the wrath to come, right? And their households, you know, to whom the Lord sees fit. Right. It says, and to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after them through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. All right. So it mentions woman twice. All right. Woman outnumber men. All right. <laughs> I think they say it's like seven to one. Right. A lot of women is going to perish. And a lot of you women have been instructed in the way of righteousness. Or you've been instructed, you know, through various men of the Lord and you were you rejected that way. Right. That's why the scriptures talk about the uh, uh, a woman whose uh, mind is well instructed. Right. Let me grab that. This is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Right. So. There's instructions that's been given through the prophets, the men of the Lord. All right. You know, particular women have been with men of the Lord and they have not taken heed to their instructions. You know what? <laughs> that And that's exactly what happened to Lot's wife. Right. Lot was given instructions. OK. And then Lot gave his wife those instructions and she didn't take heed unto him. All right. 
He was instructed not to look back. All right. He instructed his household not to look back. But what did Lot's wife do? She looked back. She went out up. She went out of that instruction. And what happens, man? She got destroyed. All right. Left there as a pillar of salt, which is an example unto the unbelieving souls, because that's what the unbelievers are going to receive as well. Right. So when you move outside of the instructions all right, of your man, OK, you know, you move outside of the instructions of the men of the Lord, because, you know, certain, you know, certain women right now, they don't have a men of the Lord. All right. But you're being instructed if you're listening to these lessons in a proper way. Right. When you move outside of that, you're moving outside of your hedge. OK. When you move outside of that hedge, you're liable to go through and deal with anything. It's just like with us. See, when we move outside of the instructions and the, you know, the way of Yahweh about Shemya was shy. All right. There's punishments and there's consequences that come with that. OK. So once again, that's why it's very important to have a mind well instructed. And that's why, you know, you have to have a certain fear in you. Because if you have a fear in you, you're like, look, if I, let me make sure I take heed. Let me make sure I apply these things, because if I don't, I'll get my ass fucked up. And that's the fear that the men of the Lord are moving in, man. You know, so I know brothers, you know, they deal with different situations. You might get a little frustrated with, you know, you might have taught certain women certain things. And, you know, you get to the point, you know, you, to a certain point to where it's like, yeah, yeah, look, I ain't even finna waste my time with that. And, they, you know, they'll get in line when that fear kicks in. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the brothers that may be, you know, upset with, you know, situations and how another motherfucker is moving. Hey, man, let that shit be, you know, focus on what you need to do for Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, and everything else will fall into play. If it's meant for an individual to get delivered, then they're going to get delivered. But if not, then oh fucking well. <laughs> you know, we work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. That just is what it is. All right. That just is what it is, man. You know, and, hey, and that's. You know, certain brothers, man, they done dealt with certain things with certain women and they done took them through so much hell to where the Lord is like, you know what? Now nah, I'm finna go ahead. She going, I'm gonna put her ass out of there straight up. <laughs> you know, she didn't offend it to a point. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we need to worry about all that, man. We do what we need to do for the Lord and let the Lord sort out everything else. But anyways, let me finish this other verse. It says a shame and faithful woman is a double grace and her continent mind cannot be valued. Right. So she's got a continent mind. All right. There's value to that, you know? She's able to check her thoughts, all right? She's able to, you know, stay within certain boundaries, within the instructions that's given, all right? Then, hey, that's cool. You know, it says she shall be ch saved in childbearing if she can think, continues in faith, charity, sobriety, and holiness, roughly paraphrasing it, right? So she stays within certain boundaries, within your instructions and everything like that. She may be delivered, but if not, oh, fucking well, <laughs> you know, straight up and down, man. Oh, well, all right? There'll be plenty more, <laughs> plenty more trust. Trust and believe, man. That just is what it is, right? So uh, I want to grab this. I ain't even want to go in that vein, really, but uh, that's all through the spirit, you know. But just uh, based based off of that, you know, based off of that uh, that dream, I wanted to grab this. This is the book of Amos, uh, chapter five and verse uh, eighteen. It says, and I ain't gonna make this one this long, too long. Lord's will. Amos 5 and 18, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Right. So even as you mentioned in the dream, you know, I went one way with troops there and I specifically even mentioned that. I was like, yeah, you're going to be out here in martial law and all this stuff that I'm telling you about on your own. Straight up and down. Like, that's just what it is, you know, and, and I'm not finna bat an eye. I don't want to write this off. You know, we moving on, man. We got bigger and better things to worry about, man. All right. Trying to keep our faith sound and everything like that to be worried about a, a woman that want to be rebellious. Let her let her ass go on rebellion right into a damn uh, sea hipping camp. All right. Rebel your ass right into a hungry lion. OK, you know, like straight up, man, we we passed all, all the all the game plan and all this and that in the third. And nah, bro, we passed all that, man. You know, but it says, um. Amos 5 and uh, 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Should not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? All right. So this is what's going to, you know, uh, uh, be for the majority of the people. All right. This is an evil that can't be escaped. This is the book of Jeremiah 11. All right. Jeremiah 11 and 11. 
All right, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them. Let me start at verse, uh, nah, this is good. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashimi, I will shy. behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. So that's the days that we're coming into, man, inescapable judgment. All right, so unless you repent, you're going to get caught up in those judgments, man. All right, you're going to get to a point to where it's like, hey, well, shit, hey, nothing I can do for you. You know, reminds me even the uh, case, uh, the case with the Levi priest. All right. He had the the uh, concubine that played the harlot on him. Right. But him still caring about her. You know, he went back to go get her, even though she, had, you know, committed adultery. He went back to go get her. You know, he, you know, went back to the father's house where she was at. Right. Got her, you know, went on a journey. He was taking her back home. Then what ended up happening, man? All right, you had them, them damn sodomites came, surrounded the crib, you know, and then what? She ended up being cast out and raped to death, you know, and all that to say as a fearful example, you know, so that that man, you know, he wanted to have mercy on her and everything like that. But the Lord was like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> the Lord was offended, you know, the Lord was offended, even though he cared about her in that situation. So, you know, we don't know, man. All right, we don't know. But that's just a, an example that should put fear, you know, even to women that, you know, say that, uh, call themselves believing. You might have a man that's uh, a little bit more uh, uh, soft spoken and, you know, might be extra forgiving and everything like that. All right. And you you over there mistreating them and talking crazy and this and that and the third. Like, look, the Lord will take your ass out in a, in a heartbeat. All right. Straight up and down, man. So, you know, this is a, 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 a fearful thing that we're a part of, man. You're supposed to move in this ministry with a fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, knowing the wrath and the judgment to come, right? But it says, uh, verse 12, then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jer Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. That's right. You know, so this is how it's going to be, man. <laughs> okay. People's going to be left out here in judgment. All right. To suffer wrath, man. Let me grab this. In the book of uh, Second Chronicles, let's see. Or as a matter of fact, nah. Let me um. This is what I meant to grab. Damn, why is she living? All right, I'll just get it like this. This is the book of um. First Timothy five and six. It says, uh, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, right? And living in pleasure, that's you doing whatever you want, going after your own heart. You know, that's a part of that, man. All right. That's a part of that, man. So people that got that mentality and that attitude, you know, especially you women, man, hey, we're going to see what's going to be the latter end of all that. All right. All this game plan, you know, not trying to submit, rebelling. You got women talking trash on the common board, talking shit, talking crazy to their husbands. The Lord is seeing all that, man. The Lord gonna leave a lot of you, a lot of you damn hoes out here through by yourself, you know. But I'm gonna end it right there through the spirit, you know. Just wanted to speak on that, uh, since it was an add-on to that previous lesson. Lord's what I was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth with that message, Shalom.